Road traffic deaths are unexpected. It's everybody's worst nightmare to have a knock at the door and to find a police officer stood there, because then it's just a question of who. So inquests might provide an explanation to a family as to how their loved one has died. It's not going to bring them back. It's not going to ever remove the grief and the loss that they have sustained. In Blackburn, Lancashire, emergency services are attending the scene of an accident. A moped has collided with a car and has then hit a parked truck. The driver of the car is uninjured, but the moped rider is in a serious condition. When he was taken away from the scene, he was alive, so you, I think you just kind of hope that he's going to be OK. The moped rider has been identified as John Paul Buckland. This is a 31-year-old gentleman who was brought into the hospital where he underwent a CT scan which showed um, significant injuries to both his chest and, and abdomen and head. So he was taken to theatre where they were trying to stop the bleeding that was occurring from um, several of the injuries. But unfortunately, because his injuries were so severe, his condition deteriorated whilst he was actually on the operating table. And sadly, the doctors who were involved in the case felt that his injuries were unsurvivable. John Paul died within a few hours of being brought into hospital. The radiologist must now analyse his scans to establish a cause of death for the coroner as part of the initial stage of investigation into this case. In these cases, you've got multiple injuries which are not compatible with life, and therefore, you know, it's sometimes difficult to figure out which one is going to be the one that actually causes death. However, given the vascular injuries with the aortic dissection and the um, acute bleeding from the vessels in the liver, those would be the, the most likely cause of death. A medical cause of death has been established and John Paul can be released to his family. But the investigation is far from over. In road traffic accidents, the police work for the coroner. They must investigate the circumstances of the accident in order for Dr. Aidley to give a final conclusion on John Paul's death. The blue light services and the NHS and police were, were all just amazing. There's a lot of talk about our frontline warriors that kind of thing, but we've really experienced that on a deeply personal level for John Paul. Sometimes I feel like I see him more often on the streets now than I did before, which is so strange, um, which makes me think about him more than I did before, you know. Um, but I do miss him. Yeah, we all miss him. <laughs>